everyone welcome back to my channel today i'm gonna be doing my extremely crispy onion rings for you guys so to get started i'm gonna be using two medium sized onions that's this size and i'm gonna peel and wash them and cut them into quarter inch thick slices just like what i have right here it's very important that you cut them this size so that it fries well All right, and my next step would be to place all of the rings into a bowl and I'm gonna soak them in water and then we're gonna take this bowl and pop it into the freezer for at least 30 minutes I know this sounds weird but trust me this is a very very crucial step in making the onion rings extremely crispy and crunchy all right all right so I'm gonna pop this in the freezer for 30 minutes and in the meantime let's make the batter so I'm gonna put one cup of all-purpose flour in this bowl and I'm gonna add a teaspoon of salt one teaspoon of coarse ground black pepper one teaspoon of herbs de Provence or you could use Italian seasoning one teaspoon of smoked paprika One teaspoon of cayenne pepper powder. One teaspoon of garlic granules. One teaspoon of Cajun seasoning and one teaspoon of white pepper powder with going at the very end right there. All right. Now I'm going to take a whisk and I'm going to combine all of these dry ingredients really, really well together. Then I would take three quarters of a cup of cold water and incorporate it into the dry batter. You want to get a consistency that's not too thick and not too thin either. It needs to be nice and flowing. All right. So once your consistency is looking like what mine is here, you should be fine. All right. If you need to add a little bit more water, feel free to do so, but don't make it too thin. So now I'm going to grab my onion rings out of the freezer and place them one by one on paper towels to dry. Alright, so you need the rings to be very cold but dry. So I'm going to take another paper towel and I'm going to help to pat them dry as well. Just like what I'm doing right here. Yeah. So we want them to be cold but dry. All right, so next we'll get our assembly station ready. I have my onion rings, I have my butter, and I have one and a half cups of panko breadcrumbs. It must be panko. All right, so I'm gonna take one onion ring and dunk it into this uh, batter and coat it really well, shake all of the excess off, and then I am going to put it into the panko breadcrumbs and roll it around really well and show it's really well coated. In hindsight, I should have used a bigger bowl. You guys don't do like me. Use a bowl that's actually big enough, you know. <laughs> Alright, and then I'm going to take this and rest it onto a paper towel. Because I want it to set well before I put it into the oil. Alright, so I'm going to leave it right here for about a minute or so. Alright, so now I'm going to pop them one by one into the oil and let it fry on a medium to low heat until it's golden brown and crispy, crispy, crispy. Alright, so guys, that was my onion ring recipe. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please try it. I promise you'll like it. Like, share, subscribe, comment. See you guys later. Bye-bye.